everyone cody from mac telecom networks this is part two of our full amada network setup if you missed part one i'll put a link in the description below in that video we were just going over how to get your amada network set up putting all the devices together and then switching our main LAN subnet if you're new here please hit the subscribe button make sure to hit the bell icon if you'd like to hire us for network consulting visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com you'd find us on instagram at mac telecom networks and we do have a Discord channel. I'll put a link in the description below. In this video, we're gonna create some networks within our Amada controller. And let's go over the topology quickly again. What we'll be focusing on today is under this yellow box. So we have all the devices plugged in, my router, my switch, the OC200 controller, as well as the EAP660 HD Wi-Fi 6 access point. The other two sites that we see will be coming in a later video. So what we need to do, we need to create a staff network on VLAN 20 and a guest network on VLAN 30. We'll also tag some switch ports with those VLANs. Now we're in our Amada controller. What we need to do to create VLANs or other networks is click on the settings wheel in the bottom left hand corner and then click on wired networks. Under wired networks, we have internet or LAN. We're gonna want to choose LAN. And then you can see my main LAN right now, 192.168.10.1/24. We need to create two new networks or VLAN. So we need to create new LAN. And then I'll give this a name of staff. The purpose will be to be an interface. And then we're going to have it going down the LAN connection. So if we look back at our topology, we can see that my switch is connecting to our TL R605 firewall. And there's only one connection going down there. That connection will act as a trunk port, so we could have multiple VLANs going down it. Next, we want to give it a VLAN ID, and the VLAN ID we'll give it is 20. And then a gateway of subnet, 192.168.20.1 slash 24. We're going to update the DHCP range, and then we're going to edit the DHCP range. So they have it at 192.168.20.1 to 254. I'm going to switch that to start at dot 10, and then we'll press save. Now we need to create the guest network. So I'll create new network. We'll call it guest. The purpose will be interface and we'll be going down the LAN. The VLAN for our guest network is VLAN 30. And the IP subnet will be 192.168.30.1/24. And we'll update the DHCP range. And we'll also switch the DHCP range to start at 10. And then we'll apply the changes. Now we have all the networks that we're going to be creating for this video. We have our guest, we have our LAN, and we have our staff. We can see there's a portal, portal name, access control rule, and a rate limit. And we'll get into that in a further video. Now let's go over to my switch and put some of the physical ports into a specific VLAN. So we'll click on the devices tab, and then we'll click on our switch. First, what I'm going to do, I'll name my switch. We'll go down and then change the name from its MAC address to just switch. And I'll press apply. Now we can see that it's taken the new name. Let's apply some of the VLANs to the ports. So we'll click on ports and then I'll put port three into the guest network. We'll click the edit pencil and under profile, we'll switch that to guest and then press apply. And then we'll put port four under staff. I'll click the edit pencil and we'll change that profile to staff. And you could also name the ports if you like. I'll call this staff and press apply. Now, if we plug in a physical device to either one of these ports, we'll get a new IP address out of either the guest subnet or the staff subnet. And I'll show you that right now. I'll move this PC over to the guest and staff. Now we could see something is plugged into port three and that's this PC. So I'll bring up a command line and we'll type in IP config. We'd see that I'm getting an IP of 192.168.30.14, which is out of the guest subnet. Now I'll plug into port four and see if we get a staff IP. We could see that my PC is plugged into port four and we'll type in IP config again. And we're getting an IP from 192.168.20.14, which is the staff subnet. So we now know that our configuration is working. So in the next video, we'll get into creating wireless networks and then limiting the bandwidth of the guest network. In part four of this video series, we'll get into the firewall configuration. We're on the staff network right now, and we shouldn't be able to ping our LAN network, but we can. So I'll ping the switch at 192.168.10.42, and we don't want that to happen. So with firewall rules, we could block all this access. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.